scroll my team coins, check out thefootshop.com. Their link is in the description below. And for a discount on your coins, use Nepo at checkout. What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the best team in FIFA. Today I've had an a La Liga team sent in to me. Unfortunately, he didn't put his name on the Foothead squad, so I don't know which, like I click on a lot of links through Twitter. So if you guys don't leave your name, if you don't sign into Foothead when you make the team, I can't give you the credit you deserve for the team. However, he's called it OP La Liga team. It's got 4-3-3 version four as a formation. The first time I'm gonna use this in FIFA 15, so it's certainly gonna be interesting. And um, what interested me about this team, I'll explain in a second, but before we get into this guys, if we could drop a thumbs up on the video, that'd be absolutely awesome. If we could try and get this over 5,000 likes I would much appreciate it and of course if you guys want to send me in your favorite teams sign on to furhead.com sign in build your team link me the squad on twitter.com slash and I will check it out and if there's one that takes my fancy I will have a look now what made me look at this team right here guys was that in my road to glory I am building towards a BBVA team and this is a 41,000 coin on the Xbox and 65,000 coin on the PlayStation uh, BBVA team. So it's actually a relatively cheap team. Uh, it looks really, really nice. We've got Griezmann in the left wing slot. Four star skill moves there for him. Good pace and dribbling as well. We've got Dos Santos up front, which you guys know I absolutely love him. I, I think he is the cheap Messi. I think he's every bit as good as Messi as well. Uh, we get Delafo on the right wing. Four star skill moves. Four star Wii foot. Really good pace and dribbling, but not the best for shooting and passing. So it's going to be interesting to see how he plays a nice midfield of Rakitic, Serchi or Churchy and Isco and then quite a strong defense as well with Tremulin Trem Tremulinas Tremulinas Varane Pepe and De Marcos with Ter Stegen in a goal so it's a very nice looking team I'm going to go and play five games with it as per usual guys I'm going to let you know how I think it plays and whether or not you think you should guy or whether or not I think you guys should invest your coins in a team like this so let's go Okay guys, so as we get into the gameplay, as per usual, I show you the five teams that I come up against and the goals that I score. I don't quite often show the goals that I concede, so if you guys would like to see those in videos, then let me know. But typically, uh, they're pretty pretty AIDS goals, so um, I don't really like to show the ones that I can see. But maybe just because I was thinking like you would like to see how the defense kind of works a bit more, maybe I will start putting those in. So once again, just let me know in the comment section, guys, if you want to see those goals, uh, the ones that I can see as well or not. Um, so this team was uh, it was quite fun to play with. Um, I've given it a four-star rating overall. And uh, the 4-3-3-4, I gave a five-star rating as well. I, I've, I didn't use the 4-3-3 in FIFA 14, and that, this is genuinely the first time I've used it this year I liked it a lot I can see why people enjoy it I just really prefer two striker formations I don't know why I don't know what it is about my FIFA style my the, my play style I prefer the two striker formations but this was a really really interesting team and an interesting formation um, I've given the attack four star and we'll run down from the attack down to defense in this game this video sorry uh, the reason why I gave it four stars I, I thought Griezmann was fantastic if lacking a little bit of pace for a winger uh, Dos Santos, you guys know, I absolutely love. His 81 shot, 88 dribbling and 86 pace is just unreal. Uh, the problem for me was Delafo. Uh, I know he's got 91 pace and 86 dribbling, which is fantastic, like genuinely phenomenal. You know, in, in this game that is dominated by pace and dribbling, uh, he is an absolute masterpiece when he gets on the ball. The problem with him was how many chances I missed because of how bad his shooting and passing is. Like, you know, literally I'd be in a position where I'd, I'd have an open man on the edge of the box, I'd try and pass it back, and it just wouldn't go anywhere near you wanted it. And, and that 66 passing and 68 shooting was a huge issue. So just because of De Foe, I've given the uh, the attack a four star. If, if there's a better right winger out there, maybe Carlos Vea, perhaps, um, I think this attack would be a, a five-star attack and something that I would highly recommend everyone to go and use. We move into the midfield, and I was I was quietly impressed with the midfield. Uh, I thought there was going to be some issues, the fact that Isco has 76 pace and Rakitic has um, 69 pace. Um, but it was just fantastic. So, uh, Churchy is a, an, in that cam spot played basically as a centre forward, maybe like a second striker, you know, he played right up behind Dos Santos and it was really nice because like I said, I do prefer two striker formations. Now, although they were both very, very central, uh, it was always nice to know that if Serchi's got the ball, then Dos Santos is there and if Dos Santos has got the ball, then Serchi will most likely be there and you'll see a few goals I score with uh, Serchi or Churchy. Um, they were really, really nice. He's always in a good position. He sits right in between the midfield line and the defensive line and it was just really, really nice to, to have him in the team, especially with the skill moves and the pace it was very good um 
Isco was a bit of a quiet one. Uh, he he was good. Like he never he never really let me down. Uh, the pro the only problem with the midfield was the fact that the two wide midfielders in Rakitic and Isco were quite often beat for pace. Like they did get dominated by pace. Uh, if you know if someone's breaking through the midfield, they laboured back, and that was a bit of an issue. Um, but the the work rates were quite nice. You know, there's a medium, medium, a medium low, and a high low, which kind of staggered the midfield in a really nice way. That there was always a passing opportunity, which I really liked. Uh, and Rakitic was absolutely fantastic in the midfield. I didn't know what to expect of him, um, but he's, he was just brilliant. 81 dribbling, 82 shooting, 87 passing, four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. He scored a couple of belters for me. He scored two incredible free kicks and a chip shot that you'll see in the last game from outside the box. It was just absolutely magnificent. And look at this again for passing moves. Delafoe and uh, Giovanni Dos Santos there, great work. Delafo does a stop and turn, another four-star skiller, stops inside and does actually pick up a goal. I think he got two goals for me in the end. And what I actually really liked about this team again was that all of the midfielders and attackers all chip in. They all get goals, they all get assists, everyone gets involved. Uh, it's a really, really strong team offensively. Um, but defensively, as you can see, I've given it four stars. It's it's not the best. And, and I think one of those reasons is because... Um, the, it, it's just left exposed quite a lot because of how the midfielders are always up the field and, and available. Um, I, I don't know, I just felt like, especially, like I say, like if somebody had a really, really fast midfield, they could just sprint past Rakitic or Isco down the wing and then they would be in on the defence and it left the defence just a little bit exposed and... and I don't know, it's, it's hard to suggest what was wrong with the defence because there was nothing outstandingly wrong. But the problem just was that they, they got hit quite a lot. And that might have been the midfield's fault. So maybe the midfield deserves a four star and the defense deserves a five star. Or, uh, you know, maybe they all deserve four star um, because the midfield was a little bit laboring getting back. Um, but the defense handled every game very well. I played five games. I won five games. I got three rage quits out of those five games. Um, and then I think I won four, three and three nil or something like that. Uh, it was very, very easy to play with this team. The, the players are very cheap. It's 40,000 coins right now. I could probably bet your bottom dollar that in another week or two weeks or three weeks as this game gets more, you know, more people pick up this game. And um, these are very commonly packed players. The price of this team is just going to drop and drop and drop. And in another two or three weeks, it'll be worth 20,000, maybe 30,000 coins. And uh, it's, it's something that everyone can afford. And I highly, highly recommend you guys go out and try this team, especially if you're struggling, if you're in divisions and you're struggling and you literally have no players and, and very few coins. Go and get your starter pack bronze team. Go and play offline for as long as you can. Get the coin boost on. Play offline divisions. And just keep playing offline until you've got 40,000 coins. And then go and pick this team up, guys. And honestly, this it's not going to make you a better player if you're a bad player. But if you're an okay player and you're just struggling, it's going to help you win games because of how good the team actually is. I was very, very impressed with the team. I thought it was a fantastic team to play with. And it's one that I definitely, definitely recommend you guys to give a shot on. Um, and uh, as always, guys, you know, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy this. If you did, leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you guys have got any teams you want me to try out, then uh, link them to me on twitter.com slash nepenthes. And any ones that I like the look of, I will give a try and show you guys what I can do with your favorite teams. But anyway, guys, is this the best team in FIFA? Probably not, but it's not far off it. It was very enjoyable. Definitely go out and try it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.